Welcome to another episode of Timmy Talks, the channel where we talk old school magic, the best format in Magic the Gathering. <laughs> right? Right? Is it? Is it the best format? And here we go. I got a really, really interesting letter, and I want to take a look at it with you all. It's uh, to college dropout Tim. Yes, that's me. I didn't finish college. I went on a pirate ship. Can you blame me? Come on, once in a lifetime. And it's from the Sage of Letdown. Oh, that's my old professor at the Arcane Studies. I believe later he started his own college. Let's open it up. He wasn't really too happy with me at the time. I think I dropped out of his seminar, actually. Okay, so let's see. Where's the start of this whole thing? Okay, dear Timmy, it is admirable to see how hard you tried to fit in as a 1-1 pinger in a brutal 93-94 meta. I agree. It's not always easy. You know, you're come in there, you're looking forward, and then again, a lightning bolt. You know, those bolts are really, really painful. Anyway, uh, but let's be realistic for a moment. Okay, where's this going? I mean, you didn't even finish the first seminar of wizardry at Arcane Studies because you wanted to hang out on a pirate ship. Come on, man, that's like ages ago. I have developed, I've changed. And I, to be honest, I don't regret going on that pirate ship. Old school magic days are numbered? What? I can easily say that it is time for a new format where even you, Timmy, have a place well, that is actually a good point. Less and less decks are playing me these days. They want to have more competitive cards. Cards that do more for less mana. Like Swords to Plowsiers or something. I don't know. But still, I mean, I'm, I'm, I'm a cool sorcerer. So what do you mean old school magic days are numbered? Come on, give me, give me some reasons. Give me some facts here. The current price spikes of old school cards makes it too hard for new players to enter. Playing with non-powered decks against full-powered decks makes old school an uphill battle. With all the fakes and rebacks out there, you have to be really careful what you buy in old school. Okay, okay, I get it, I get it. There are a few minor issues with old school magic. Every format has their struggles, but the question is, do you have a solution? It's easy to complain. I mean, I do that all day, you know. Oh, I entered a battlefield, another lightning bolt. Oh, I'm pinging you for one and you're killing me with a Sarah Angel. I mean, come on, you know, you got to come with a solution. Read the rest of the letter. Okay, I'll, I'll read the rest. I'm getting curious now. Let's see if the, if the solution is, is in here. Okay, so let's get back to the letter. We read the first part where I was just a useless pinger partying on a pirate ship. And now we're gonna go to the next part. Let's, let's take a look. Okay, convinced? Well, yeah, there are problems. Of course you are. There's simply no future for old school. Okay, the answer, simple. Find the younger version of those old and scurvy cards and enter the perfect and balanced world of new school. See you on the other side, your former mentor, Sage of Letnam, the Dominaria version. Oh yeah, you got an upgrade? What? I got an upgrade too. I mean, really? I got younger? Well, it's not too bad. From Arcane Studies and the College of Letnam. Okay, 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 wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. So you're talking about new school? What the is new school? Can you, okay, why would we start playing new school? Can you give me some arguments, please? You know, some reasons and some examples, please. I can play with foils. In new school, I can truly express myself as a person through my deck. Due to the small eight card restricted list, the format is much more balanced. In new school, you can always choose cards with the current oracle wording. I must say, I'm getting convinced here. Those are some good arguments. And I believe your student didn't even mention the fact that you can play with the new art of air elemental. Hey, <laughs> if that isn't a bonus, I don't know what is. But I would like to ask you, Sage of Letnam, to 
hold one final plea. Why should we all enter this new realm of new school? And while we're listening to your plea, I am actually going to show you some unique footage of the first new school match ever being played. How cool is that? So let's listen to that. Let's take a look at that. And then uh, we'll get back and we'll make a conclusion. Is new school better than old school? Yes or no? Let's be real about old school. It is sad to say, but 93-94 Magic has degenerated into a bunch of five color good stuff variants for spikes basically with, with cash. New school on the other hand has a very balanced card pool. It's affordable for everyone and its players are just out there to have fun. I feel this format allows me to be a truer version of myself I simply appreciate the shinier things in life. In New School, fully blackboarded decks are the rule, not the exception, and all cards are tournament legal. None of this square corner or gold bordered nonsense. Obviously, we do hope WotC will see the reprint equity this opens up for them. Getting more foils would be awesome. And there's definitely some excitement there as well. Will they finally reprint Ice Storm and make Birds of Paradise field Ponza? a thing in new school. In their heart of hearts most old school players know the new stuff is superior. That's why they use the current rules. Using current frames, art and card pool is a logical next step. There are those who play new school solely for the art. Basic lands from every conceivable artist. Paul, Tadine, Alexander, all the greats have made several fantastic basics. Wow, Professor, you blew me away with all those arguments. I discovered I have zero foils, but I do have these two cards. The new Lunarer Elves and the brand new Aerolmental. I'm going to combine them in a deck. <laughs> Crazy! What shall we do with the drunken sailor? What shall we do with the drunken sailor? What shall we do with the drunken sailor? Ik het als fikker te samba kan zien.